Iraqis love sports. But after five years of war, only a single Iraqi athlete has qualified for the Olympic Games in Beijing. The country's three wars in two decades have left thousands of Iraqis disabled. In fact, Iraq's Paralympic team is seen as far more competitive than its regular Olympic team and more likely to win medals in Beijing this summer. Many of them are veterans who fought in Iraq's wars in the 1980s and 1990s. None of the men and women wounded in the current war qualified for the Olympics this summer. The Paralympic team has qualified 20 athletes for Beijing. They are paraplegic weightlifters, blind runners, amputee swimmers, and wheelchair-bound fencers. The fencers work out in a hot, tin-roofed room in a rundown neighborhood in eastern Baghdad. Well, we are handicapped. We have more determination than normal people. We have this determination to challenge the things that we are facing. Wafa Jodwell was disabled by polio. Together with Faraj Huder, Iraq's star wheelchair fencer, the two will represent Iraq in Beijing. Faraj lost his leg below the knee from a mortar in 1986. To make it to training, he said he traveled through Baghdad's Diyala Bridge neighborhood, even on days when the U.S. was conducting airstrikes. When clashes erupt, will that mean I stay home? We have to live our life normally even though there is fighting, clashes, and airstrikes. The fencers practice their attacks and parries. They spin their creaky wheelchairs in tight circles. And all this takes place on a cracked tile floor that cannot be easy to roll over. They cannot afford air conditioning. So it is too hot for them to don padding or helmets and spar. For us, and Baghdad in general, we went through a period which hopefully will not be back again. This is just a passing crisis, and we have to look forward because God will replace it with good things. The Iraqi Paralympic team of 2008 has endured what is surely one of the most trying Olympic training seasons ever. Coaches have been killed, athletes have been assassinated. But the fencers, who have already overcome long odds, said the setbacks of war will not prevent them from winning Paralympic medals. It is not just participation. We are going for a competition and we will achieve something for Iraq. And of course, Iraq will be proud of his sons.